A young train stewardess starts her first day at work in a normal-looking train, where several hundred passengers are present. Some are traveling for work, while others are just trying to spend their holidays with their loved ones. But after just 10 minutes, when the train reaches a particular station, everything changes. The carriages become old and rusty, people start going crazy, and a bloodbath takes place. The stewardess, who is expecting a great first day at work, is traumatized because of what she sees. Following this, we are taken back to the year 1988. Little Omi Sun is excited as it's her birthday today. She's patiently waiting for her dad to arrive with her special present. Mi Sun's dad works on a train as a conductor. While her grandmother lies in front of the television, Mi Sun plays with her toy train. However, she quickly becomes bored and tries to get some attention from her grandmother. When the old woman doesn't respond, Mi Sun shakes her by the shoulder, but the woman's lifeless body falls heavily onto the toy train, destroying it. From the television, we learn the shocking news that there's been a horrible accident and the train bringing Mi Sun's dad back home is now a mass of burning, crushed metal. It's then revealed that Mi Sun's grandmother had a heart attack after learning about her son's death. Following this, we are shown the actual scene of the disaster. There are two small children, a boy and a girl with an injured arm. The children stare in horror at the body of their mother, who has been killed trying to protect them from the crash. Fast forward 15 years, Mi Sun is now a stewardess who has just started her job on a train. Some people blame her dad, who was the conductor on the crashed train. However, Mi Sun ignores everyone and carries out her work. Later, we learn that the train is departing from Seoul Station to Yosu at 11.50 p.m. There are many passengers boarding it, but the main ones are a couple, He Ju and her boyfriend, who are going for a honeymoon, a group of four teenagers who are paranormal activity investigators, and two other schoolgirls who have just bunked their classes. The train then departs at the said time. A while later, a couple arrives at the station, and the wife is worried that they missed the train. But surprisingly, at 12 o'clock a.m., a second train arrives, and the couple boards it. Back on the first train, the captain, Mr. Park, makes an announcement. He mentions that this is the last time the train is going to Yosu Station. After this, both he and the train will retire. Moreover, it is revealed that some parts of the train have the same coaches that were used in the crashed train 15 years ago. Because of this, people often think theorize that this train is haunted. Shortly after, the schoolgirls from before purposely collide with Mi Sun's food trolley and steal some chocolates. Mi Sun notices this, but she doesn't say a word. Instead, she goes to a corner and starts munching on one of the snacks herself. She is interrupted by the train's conductor, Jin Q, who invites her to a farewell party for Mr. Park. Later, the pair, along with the staff head, celebrate the farewell party with the captain and congratulate him on his retirement. Following the party, Mr. Park goes back to the control room, where he suddenly sees a girl standing on the train track. Terrified, he quickly pulls the brake handle, causing all the passengers to lose their balance for a while. But when he goes to check on the track, he doesn't see anybody there. Next, the paranormal activity team interviews one of the train passengers about his experience on the train. The man starts off by saying that today is the same date on which the horrific accident took place 15 years ago. The passenger then reveals that ever since the incident, he travels every year on the train on its accident anniversary because he he lost his parents on the fateful day. He also tells the investigation team that three years ago, he had seen a man with a briefcase on the train, but he quickly vanished into thin air. The passenger then takes the team to the place where the man was seated. Learning this, Su He, one of the girls from the team, feels a weird aura around the seat. Su He is a psychic who can see spirits. Elsewhere on the train, Mi Sun approaches a boy named Hu Wang, who is traveling alone and sketching some pictures in his drawing book. The boy tells the stewardess that his mother is waiting for him at the next stop. When Mi Sun looks at the drawing book, she finds that Hu Wang has drawn some passengers that were not on the train. But before she can take a closer look at it, the boy snatches it away and attempts to destroy it, forcing Mi Sun to leave. Soon after, she starts seeing weird things around the train. The vehicle starts transforming into an old and dark train, with spiders crawling all over the place. She also starts getting glimpses of the spirits of those who died in the crash 15 years prior. But suddenly, everything goes back to normal. After that, Mi Sun sees an unknown stewardess and follows her to the coach next door. In the process, she trips her leg, but when she gets up, Mi Sun finds herself on the same old train, and now the passengers have also changed. When she looks back, she sees a scary figure with long hair that immediately attacks her. Mi Sun screams in horror and corners in a passenger's seat, but the surroundings quickly go back to being normal, and now the figure is changed into a black wig. Su He, who witnesses everything, picks up the wig and asks the passengers if it belongs to them. For a while, 
while, no one says a word, but just then, one of the arrogant schoolgirls lies that it's hers and takes the wig with her. Later, mi Sun is called upon by her staff supervisor, who scolds her for scaring the passengers. But before matters can escalate, the train's conductor, Jin Q, arrives and convinces the supervisor to go easy on mi Sun as it's her first day at work. After this, the frightened stewardess goes to take some rest. In the next scene, we are taken to the second train. The couple who boarded the train at 12 a.m. are still there. The wife, Ju Mi, is pretty scared, since there isn't anyone on the train except for them. But when Jong Hyun looks around, he sees Professor Kim, who used to teach him at the university. He then approaches the professor, who is carrying a briefcase with him. The movie then cuts back to the first train. The girl who lied about the wig goes to the bathroom and tries it on. But suddenly, she feels like someone is grabbing her neck. When the girl tries to look around, the wig wraps around her neck and chokes her to death. Whoa, that got hairy. Next, the train stops at a station and from a window, mi Sun notices the boy, Hu Wang, unboarding the train. Fearing that he might get lost, she quickly follows him outside, but he's already gone. mi Sun then decides to return to the train, but suddenly she sees her father sitting in one of the passenger seats and becomes horrified. Fortunately, Jin Q reminds her that the train is leaving, prompting mi Sun to snap back to reality and hurriedly enter the train. Meanwhile, a woman enters the bathroom to have a smoke. She appears to be in a bad mood as her boyfriend got off the train at a recent station, leaving her alone. Just then, lights start flickering, and a spirit suddenly appears in front of her and attacks her. Smoking kills. The movie then takes us to the second train, where Professor Kim is talking with a fellow passenger. The passenger is none other than mi Sun's dad, who is showing a music box that he is planning to give to his daughter. Meanwhile, the professor explains that he is traveling to Yosu to submit his dissertation, which is inside his briefcase. At this moment, we realize that the couple, Jong Hyun and Ju Mi, boarded a ghost train that crashed 15 years ago. Moreover, the professor and mi Sun's dad are spirits who haven't realized that they are actually actually dead. Back on the first train, Jin Q and Mi Sun find the body of the woman who had gone to the bathroom to smoke. The corpse looks like the woman was terrified to death. Jin Q hurriedly tries to inform the central office while Mi Sun retrieves the dead woman's phone. She finds several unread messages from the woman's boyfriend, suggesting she get off the train immediately. Apparently, he had seen some spirits on the train after he had gotten off. Taken aback, Mi Sun leaves the corpse and walks out. Suddenly, the train starts transforming into an old one once again. Mi Sun sees the same unknown stewardess, who tells her that she made a mistake working on that train. The stewardess then tells a confused and anxious mi Sun that they are all going to die. Distressed, mi Sun starts screaming at the stewardess, but in reality, it turns out that she is screaming at her lady supervisor. After that, mi Sun falls unconscious on the floor. While unconscious, she sees a vision where it is revealed that the unknown stewardess worked on the train that crashed 15 years ago. Her name was Jung Jin Suk, and while on duty, she had mistakenly kicked a bottle of poison. The destroying it completely. But before we get to know more, mi Sun regains her consciousness. Later, she talks about her visions and dreams with Jin Q, but the latter is confused and doesn't understand any of it. mi Sun then decides to ask for help from Su He, the psychic. As the two talk, Su He reveals that she too has been feeling a strange aura ever since the train stopped at the last station. The pair then go to the restroom, where the dead woman's body lies. Su He tries to go near the corpse, but she starts feeling uncomfortable, as if something is stopping her. Elsewhere, we see He Ju and her boyfriend. They are the same couple that we saw at the start of the movie, who are on their way to their honeymoon. From their conversation, we learn that Heeju is the same girl among the two children that survived the accident 15 years ago. Meanwhile, Su He learns from a stack of newspapers that Hu Wang, the boy who Mi Sun tried to find after he got off the train alone, had also died 15 years ago. We realize that most of the passengers that Mi Sun is tending to are spirits from the horrific accident. On the other side of the train, one of Su He's friends is killed by the stewardess. Jin Suk's spirit. A while later, when mi Sun goes to check on Su He, she finds that the latter has now fallen unconscious on the floor. Surprisingly, someone has stabbed her. Before Su He breathes her last, she feebly reveals that most of the passengers on the train are possessed by spirits from the past. Among them are He Ju and her boyfriend, who have been possessed by the spirits of the two children who were in the crash with their parents 15 years ago, and they are intent on crashing the train. Moreover, the most confusing part is that the the spirits themselves do not know that they are dead, so they are traveling as passengers on the train. Learning this, mi Sun immediately takes off to confront the couple, but before she can explain to them that they have been possessed, he Su's boyfriend stabs her from behind. As a result, mi Su falls unconscious again on the floor. Meanwhile, Jin Q cannot get the train to stop by a station as it was supposed to, 
He gets confused, and the passengers also start fretting. Elsewhere, as Misun regains consciousness, she sees her father next to her. The spirit calms her down and reveals that their train will collide with a second train. And after the collision, all the spirits will know that they are already dead, and the weird phenomenon will finally stop occurring. Just then, Jin Kyu approaches her and prepares to take her back to safety. Suddenly, the lights go out, and the coach which they are in turns old again. They see blood oozing out of the floor, and from there, the scary Jin Suk crawls out. However, when she attempts to possess Mi Sun, Jin Kyu shows up and tells her that he will always be with her. Here it is revealed that Jin Kyu and Jin Suk used to see each other before the stewardess died in the accident. The spirit then leaves Mi Sun and slowly curls up in her former boyfriend's arms. Meanwhile, as the lights go out in some coaches, glass starts falling on the passengers, and the spirits finally start to realize that they are in somebody else's body. Next, Mi Sun goes to the control room, where she finds He Ju and her boyfriend. The couple has killed the captain and changed the course of their track in such a way that the train will eventually crash with another one and kill everyone on board. Mi Sun tries to convince He Ju that they have been possessed, and because of this, the latter starts getting a vision. He Ju sees that 15 years back, she, along with her family, were traveling on the train. They were supposedly going to a beach to have fun, but in reality, the father was planning to kill them all with the help of poison. However, his plans were foiled when the stewardess, Jin Suk, accidentally kicked and destroyed the bottle. Enraged, the father dragged the stewardess into the control room, killed her and the captain, and put the train on a collision course with another train. This is what caused the terrible wreck over a decade ago. Back in the present, Hiju's boyfriend bashes Mi Sun's head several times against the window, causing her to collapse. But contrary to him, Hiju regresses into the little girl from 15 years ago. In the next scene, the spirit of Misun's father enters the control room and pilots the train out of harm's way, while Hiju's boyfriend also reverts to his original self and starts comforting his sister. Shortly after, as the two trains, the one which is natural and the other which is haunted, begin to part, things start going back to normal on the original train. For instance, the ghosts start disassembling, the old coaches transform back to being normal again, and the terrified passengers start coming out of hiding. In the control room, Misun is comforted by her father, saying that soon they will see each other in heaven. With this, she dies from her head injuries. At the same time, the train finally stops. It's daytime, and the disoriented passengers get off. The final scene of the movie shows that it is night again, and the train for Yosu arrives at Seoul Station for its last run. We see Mi Sun on the platform, and she is again a stewardess on this train on its unnatural journey. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.